Here we have a PNY 4090 video card that came in for repair, the usual. A damaged connector, but this one looks really bad. We're going to start by applying hot air. And usually I wear my HEPA filter mask, but I'm not going to do it now because I need to talk. So the first thing I want to do is preheat the board, 450 degrees Celsius, maximum temperature, maximum airspeed. The board is thick, very thick, and it takes a lot of heat to liquefy solder. We're not going to be able to easily liquefy unleaded solder, so we're going to apply low melt solder, mix it with unleaded, so that we can lower the melting temperature of the solder on the board. It's a multiple step process. We work on this every single day. And I know the ins and outs of replacing a connector on such a big video card. It's easier said than done because this board is very thick and it takes a lot of heat to desolder the connector. Now we're going to apply flux, and flux is going to liquefy quick because the board is hot. Just apply a river of flux. And now we're going to use low melt solder. The low melt solder that we carry and sell melts at 50 degrees Celsius. So when mixed with unleaded, it's going to lower the melting temperature tremendously. I mean, I can already feel the pins move right under my soldering iron. Now we're going to apply hot air. Look at the pins. And we're almost done. And out. Everything is done in real time. And the smell is unbearable. I'm not wearing my mask just because of you. I want to be able to talk while working. Now, while the board is hot, we're going to use the NF.Sucker desoldering tool. Oh, right there, right in front of me. What are we doing? All right, so right now we're going to be using the NF.Sucker to desolder the holes. And some viewers suggested, why not have an angled tip because right now to suck solder off the holes the sucker must be vertical i cannot place the sucker under the microscope and show you how it's done because the sucker has to be vertical if you do it like this it's not going to suck very well so some viewers suggested why not have a bent tip or an angled tip now the sucker does come with an extra tip so let's go ahead and try it i'm going to cut the tip at an angle and see if we can desolder the holes while placing this NF sucker at an angle. It would be a nice experiment. I have not tried that before, but we're gonna do it together. So the NF dot sucker that we sell does come with an extra tip, a whole high quality tip. So if we cut it at an angle, maybe we do it. So the tip is cut at an angle and let's go ahead and try it. Oh, 
All right. Twist, twist and turn, turn and twist. And now we have a sucker that's angled. Let's see if that will work. We're going to have to heat up the holes to liquefy low melt solder, but it does not take a lot of heat to liquefy low melt. And what we're going to do is we're going to place the sucker at an angle under the microscope. Just listen to this. Wow. So let's try it. Right now my hand is angled at an angle. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I'm going to say look at this for every hole. Because that worked. So now I can be under the microscope and show you how that thing works. We desolder two holes at once. And finally, let's do this one here. And we're going to do this big one. And we're done. Look at this. Look at this. We desoldered all the holes, several strokes. And that angled cut worked. Tell me this sucker is not amazing. I mentioned it once before or twice before. And I'm mentioning this right now. The best sucker in the market. I tried a lot. I do not reinvent the wheel. If I see something that looks good, we keep the same design, but we modify it so it fits our purpose. Like this one here looks exactly the same, but it does not work the same. Look at the suction on this. I just want you to hear the sound. And let's hear the sound of this one. Huge difference. Big difference. Barely any suction. And we also tried this one. And this one, the first time I tried it, that thing came off. Listen to this. Huge difference. And then we tried this one. This one is not practical because it's too big. You have to physically push down with two hands. So if I'm working on a board, I cannot just push down on it and release. I have to go like this. And you have to put a lot of effort in order to engage it. And same thing with this. And I tried this one that also looks the same as ours, but it does not work the same. Let me show you. Listen. <laughs> what a joke. What a joke, right? And what else? I have over 20 different suckers. I thought that one was easy to push down like this. Very easy. I can do it like once a second. This here is weird. The way it clicks, very weird and very cheap. And this one also. Just listen to the suction and listen to ours. Big difference. I can go on and on and on, but you're not going to find any sucker that compares to ours. Okay? Big difference. Our sucker is labeled with any of that sucker, so you know it's ours. And we have the red color. Now, for example, we are planning to carry and sell phone holders for the car. So what we do is... A lot of factories contacted us and they said that they can make something special for us. And we got every single board holder in the market. This one, this one, some of them are magnetic, some of them connect 
to a CD player. Some of them uh, sit inside a cup holder. Some of them has 15 watts charger built in and over 25 different holders we have here. So what I do now is I test all of them. Maybe I like that specific feature from this holder. I like that specific feature from that holder. I like that specific feature from that other holder. And we try to combine all those nice features in one holder. Now that holder may look the same as some of the ones that we have here, but the functionality is not gonna be the same. Maybe we change that metal piece that connects to your phone if you are using a magnetic holder. Maybe that metal piece was flimsy, it was not good enough, and we get something better, or maybe the clips are too plasticky or too flimsy or they break off easy. We ask the factory to change those clips. You may still get something that looks like this, but it's modified for us. And then we slap our branding on it and that's how it works. Like the Northridge fixed camera that we have, the housing on the outside may look the same. We do not reinvent the wheel. We do not create a weird shaped housing so it's specific to us. We take a design that's already working we take a sensor that's already working and we make it better. Our microscope is edge to edge sharpness. This, you can go to AliExpress and buy hundreds of different models of cameras. They all look the same, but they do not behave the same. It's an algorithm. Right now we have the latest and greatest microscope. Works the same as this, but it's in a red color with our branding on it. You can log into our site, northwishfix.com, click on shop and you can buy all your tools from there, including this amazing microscope. I mention it in every video and all the tools that we use in the shop here. So right now we're going to solder a new connector just like that. Nice and flush and we want to make sure all the pins are properly seated inside the holes. We do not want to solder that connector crooked and we have to check. Very good. Applying some flux. Now I'm holding that connector from the bottom so it does not fall off. I'm holding the connector like this. I'm going to apply a few solder blobs on the pins and then I can let go. We can start with this one here and this one and we'll do maybe one more or two more. Now I can let go and now we can solder the pins one by one. It's not rocket science, right? Maybe it is. Working on the 4090, it is rocket science. light and look at this tell me the soldering is not better than factory wow the joints are shiny like a mirror and those are not the joints that you smoke solder joints shiny like a mirror and I always mention it you can fix your hair by looking at the joints if you're a lady you can do your makeup looking at the joints they're multi-purpose you can use this mirror as a security mirror so you can see all around everything. Now all we have to do is apply solder mask so we can cover those scratches. They're unavoidable. What can you do? As soon as you apply 
the soldering iron onto the board, it scratches. It's very fragile. The mask on the board is very fragile. Some boards, they handle it better than others, but on PNY, very fragile. But that's not a problem because we can easily fix that. We're going to be using blue mask. I like to use blue on black. It's more exotic. When you have a 4090, you want the board to look exotic, right? You have a poor connector. Why not make it look good from another angle? So you can forget about the connector issues with those cards. Anything else? That's it. Beautiful. Now I want you to put your UV glasses because I'm going to start exposing UV light all over the place. If you are a person that lives on the other side of the globe, UV light may penetrate your TV or your screen and it's going to give you a sunburn. You know what I'm talking about. We're going to use our UV light, the Northridge Fix UV light. And I have it placed on the board like this. Let's wait about 20 seconds. The light is going to shut off by itself. I usually like to go two sessions, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, about 40, 50 seconds is enough. And what I also do is apply hot air along with UV light to finish the job. I talked about this in a video I did in the past where I discussed how you can use hot air with UV to cure the mask faster. You cannot see anything, just bear with me. I'm just applying hot air along with the UV. I do not have three hands, so I'm holding the UV light with one hand, hot air station with the other hand. And in the future, when I'm able to use my leg, properly use my toes as fingers, then maybe I'll be able to hold another thing with my toes. And look at this. And we are done. Better than factory job, right? Let's take a look at front of the connector. And look at this. Tell me this is not better than factory. Say it. You can't. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. All the tools that we have that we used for this video can be purchased directly off our site, northwishfix.com. Click on shop, add to cart, check out, pay, and we almost always ship out same day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.